Prince Philip was given an official warning by police yesterday after he was caught driving without a seatbelt just 48 hours after being pulled from the wreckage of a horrifying car crash. He was pictured breaking the law while driving his new car along a country lane a mile from the scene of Thursday's collision, which left him shell-shocked and bloodied. Driving without a seatbelt is punishable by a fine of up to £500, but police said officers simply gave the 97-year-old Duke a ticking off. The accident happened as Philip pulled out of a side road onto the 60 miles per hour limit A149 road. His Land Rover collided with a Kia car, sending his vehicle tumbling across the road, where it ended up on its side. The 28-year-old woman driver of the Kia suffered a knee injury and her 45-year-old woman passenger sustained a broken wrist. A nine-month-old boy strapped into the back seat escaped serious injury. Philip told people at the scene that the crash happened after he was dazzled by the low sun. Despite Prince Philip passing an eye test in the wake of the crash passenger in the Kia which crashed with the Duke and the fair weather, 46, said he should not be behind the wheel. She told the Sunday Mirror, I respect that he's entitled to his life, but he has other options to use other than driving. I very much hope he'll consider stopping. There's no reason why he ought to be driving at almost 100 years old. I understand why he would want to keep driving as long as he can, and the law allows that. It doesn't matter if we're talking about the Queen, Prince Philip or my next door neighbor. A Norfolk police spokesman said, we are aware of the photograph. Suitable words of advice have been given to the driver, and this is in line with our standard response when being made aware of or receiving such images. Dot, but last night the Duke's cavalier approach to safety was branded reckless and crazy by Princess Diana's former royal protection officer, Ken Wharf. Mr. Wharf told the Mail on Sunday, the senior officers in charge of his protection have serious questions to answer because someone needs to be able to stand up to him and put a stop to this now before there is another incident. It is unclear whether police have interviewed the Duke over Thursday's crash near the Queen's Sandringham estate, which left him trapped in his overturned Land Rover. Two women traveling in the other car with a nine-month-old boy needed hospital treatment for minor injuries. Depending on the outcome of a police probe, the Duke could be forced to surrender his license. But having taken delivery of a replacement racing green Land Rover Freelander just one day after the crash, he carried on regardless, determined to defy those calling on him to quit driving. Before returning to the wheel yesterday he passed a police eyesight test. The extraordinary picture of him not wearing his seatbelt came as The Queen was pictured wearing the seatbelt while driving near Sandringham yesterday, a day after eyebrows were raised when she was spotted without one. Video of the horrific crash filmed by high-tech cameras fitted to Phillips' car was being examined by police investigating whether he should be prosecuted for careless driving. Dramatic new details of the crash aftermath emerged, including how a witness ripped off the sunroof to haul the Duke to safety. Yesterday, the Duke was driving west on a public single-track road towards the hamlet of West Newton, just south of Sandringham, when he was spotted without a seatbelt. He was photographed in his new Land Rover as he drew up to the junction of the narrow road in the B1440, where he turned right. After driving north on the B road for a quarter of a mile, he turned off into the Sandringham estate. His accident on Thursday sparked calls from politicians 
to consider tougher checks for older drivers. Shadow Justice Secretary Richard Bergen said, I know their self-certification of the fact that people over a certain age are able to drive. We may need to look at something more robust. Dicky Arbiter, former press secretary to the Queen, said last night, not wearing a seatbelt at any time is not very sensible. Maybe he was injured and wrenched his muscles and putting on a belt might have been uncomfortable, I don't know. If he wasn't wearing a seatbelt then there has got to be good reason, and if it was arrogance, then that is not reason.